2004 Olympic silver medalist and the former 140 pound champion of the world, introducing Amir. Getting a fight against a guy by the name of uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Louis Calazzo in the teal colored trunks with his back and all the tattoos. Amir Khan in the white trunks. Oh, he got hit with the right hand and it dropped Calazzo down. Bounce up to three four, and four. He'll take the standing five, eight count. It's up six, to five and six seven. and seven and eight. And he's eight. okay. Right, An abrasion by the left temporal bone there. And let's see now if Khan can keep the pressure on him enough. With the right hand has caught him. Hands all over him right now. Calazzo doesn't even look like he's in the in the you know the, the, the frame of mind of groove at all. He walked into the right hand as he was trying to attack, and the infinite edge and hand speed by Khan. He tried to parlay it. Khan tied. Nailed again. Left hand, the uppercut boy, he's hit. And so he can slug when he wants to, and then when Colazzo wants him, he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, Khan just got clipped by left hand that time. He was seen. Let's see if he got hurt. His legs look like they he might be a little bit shaky right now. Take a point away. And he just warned Amir that he's going to take a point away. Amir wants to slug with him, and Amir's legs may not be 100% right now. He should be tying up, buying a little bit of time. Let's stop. Let's go. Keep that up. Colazzo caught him again with a short, crisp left hand down the middle. This is Colazzo's best round of the fight. Doing such an effective job as a left. Why did he turn to righty? And that led to this. Now he got hit with an uppercut, and that dropped him. Counts up to four and five and six. He'll be able to get up at eight. They take the standing eight count. So that that kind of really puts him out of the fight. Now he's down again. This time now, seeing if he can finish this thing off. Tries to wag him with an uppercut. He's hurt him and down he goes again. And again, Colazzo was looking at the referee. He's caught looking at the ref and he got hit again. Because he was Six, being held down by seven. the elbow. You've got to concentrate hey, on the fight. Let the now. corner do the arguing for you about the elbow. When you look back at it, Khan is holding him down with the elbow, but you've got to fight. Protect yourself at all times. Now there's no free knockdown rule. Uh, but look at this count is just all over. He feels like he can finish him off here. I don't know why he pulled him off. He's uh, both hands are free. I don't know what Colossal's doing. He had those hands down. This guy's really pummeling him. He better throw some shots back at the referee and stop the fight. Well, he's got his hands down saying, come on, look at the faces all busted up. Kind of again with that elbow over his head and his work. Totally discombobulated from uh, the get go. And Khan has fought a uh, really perfect fight. He had uh, one sort of rough round, and that was the uh, uh, ninth uh, round that I gave to Palazzo. Doesn't mean the judges did. He was staggered in that round, though, and he survived it. Is Palazzo trying to battle back now? But 40 seconds to go. People say, you know, why do fighters when they're so far ahead? Why don't they just go? Why do they exchange? The answer to that question is very simple. They're fighters. What do fighters do? You think that, uh, you know, with, the, with all the money that's on the line and everything, somebody else comes in, look at just step back, tap, 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 box, stay away from him. You got the fight won, but you can't. It's not the nature of a fighter. Sometimes they get in trouble when they do that, too, when they get out of what brought them there. But we might see a little bit of that. Sure. Luis Galazzo dropped in the fourth, down twice in the tenth round, staggered Amir Khan in the ninth round. But that's the only round that Galazzo did much of anything in the fight. Now Amir can choose to stay away, or he can do what he's doing, just continue to fight. He got whacked in the midsection, must have been low, because Khan came right off his feet. It'll yeah. be interesting to see if Vic takes a Get point out. away. Time. Come here. You were, you were pulling on his head? You hit low. Cut it out. 
Victor doesn't right. give him the time. And he doesn't take and he doesn't take the point away. In favor of the winner, Amir King Kong. Well, Jerry Roth had it exactly the same way. I had it 117 to 106. The other two judges gave one more point uh, to uh, Amir Khan. So uh, it's academic because Khan totally controlled the fight and winning a unanimous decision victory over Luis Calazo.